Don't you want to hit me? Don't suppress your desires, come on. Don't feel sorry for me. Ha! We're polite to you, but you keep judging us. I've had enough. This brat is simply irritating, chief. That's more like it. Villains shouldn't play nice. It bothers both you and me. I won't fall for your tricks. Who are you to rob people? You've messed with the wrong man. I'll kill you. Go to hell. Skin him alive and deb one him. Ha! Guardian of Rebound Zen. He's that powerful? Why would I attack him involuntarily? Something is off here. Something isn't right. Retreat. Did I allow you to leave? Abomination on. Abomination is a great way to get points and tease the enemy. The system never has to worry if my talent will fail. I'll kill you. Go to hell. Ah. All of you are healthy and strong. You should work for your country instead of being bandits. Exhausted so soon. You should exercise more. Wait. I was wrong. I won't be a bandit anymore. Spare me, please. It's too late. Be a good man in your next life. Mr. Xie. You're so good. Ah? Miss Wang. I've taken care of the bandits, Miss Wang. Let's go on our trip. I didn't expect you'd be so capable. Taking care of all the wooing bandits alone and saving me. I want you so bad. No need, I'm grateful enough to hitchhike, we're even now. Ah, uh, why do I feel cold, and my head hurts too? Thank you, Mr. Sia. Without you, the fleet would have been. I'm sorry that I didn't know your true strength and offended you before. Please don't mind my rude behavior. Never mind, Mr. Zhou. Miss Wang is shocked. You should take her to the carriage to have a rest. Huh? Me? I'm such a nice guy. Can they fall in love with each other? Will Wang fall for him after seeing your capability? I don't know. You never know when you'll fall in love. In the crowd once and again, I look for her in vain. When all at once I turn my head, I find her there where lantern light is dimly shed. We went on for another five days and finally saw a glimpse of the Sia village. Thankfully, there was no other trouble on our way there, and I'm ready to say goodbye to Miss Wang. Are you leaving, Mr. Sia? Don't you think about marrying me? I'm okay with you taking concubines in. I'm afraid I have to fail you, Miss Wang. I'm a man of freedom. You saved my life, Mr. Xie, but I can't repay you. All I can do now is to wish you good luck. Too bad that I'm not a woman so that I can marry you. Don't do that even if you were a woman. Your reality works on both genders, Master. They are interesting people. I wish them to live a happy life together the Sia village. According to my memory, this should be the Sia village that the original Sia Yen was born. Why don't you go in, master? Are you having an emotional moment? No, I was an outsider, but Sia Yen, and I look identical, perhaps he's another me in this parallel world. In that case, his family could be my family. I feel a bit awkward all of a sudden. Hey, isn't he? That man? That face. He's. I thought he'd never come back. What's going on? Are you wanted, sir? Big news. The kidnapped Sia Yen is back. God bless. The most foolish son of the Sia family is back. I thought Sia Yen was sold again and again. I didn't expect he'd still be alive. Good looking people are lucky. How annoying. Mr. Sia Yen is not foolish. You're slandering him. He. Ah, uh, I'm not foolish. I was naive. Those people are just jealous of my biality. Don't mind them. Whatever. I'll meet my family sooner or later. Yes, I'll meet your family sooner or later. It'll be fulfilling the original Sia Yan's wish, or I wouldn't come here. Sia Yen? You brat. Yen. It's really you. Sia Yan's cousin, Sia Yan's cousin, Sia Yan's mother, Sia Yan's father. I thought you forgot where your family is, you brat. When I break your pens, no one will elope with you again. You don't have to break his pens, my dear. This brat has broken our hearts deeply. Just beat him hard until he's half dead. Don't be so angry. It's good that Yen comes back. Don't frighten him. Apologize to your mother, you brat. See a Yan's aunt. Oh, this brat deserves a beating. I'll help you if you can't do it yourself. We'll dump him in the ancestral hall. 
and he'll reflect himself there without meals. Xie Yan's uncle. How could you leave without telling anyone, Yen? I'm so worried about you. Our family has been a mess since you left, Yen. But we're glad to see you safe and sound. Wow, master's family indeed, they are all beautiful. I, I am ugly. Xie's mansion. The original Xie Yen was very close with his family. They act horrible, but they're actually happy with my return. Oh right, where's Ran? Is she out? The original Xie Yen had a little sister named Xie Ran, and they were close. Why haven't I seen her? Ran. What happened? It's not a bad thing. There was an old nun who could fly passing by. She said she came from the Lotus Nunnery. She saw Ran and said Ran's gifted with Buddha. Then she left some gold and took Ran away forcibly. Lotus Nunnery? The Lotus Nunnery is equally famous as the Fanchin sect, one of the three major decent Buddhistic sects in the Han Empire. But... Bah! Stop talking nonsense. My sweet girl will never be a nun. That nun forcibly tucked the money into our hands. Nobody cares about the money. A nunnery? Does Ran want to be a nun? Huh? Will she be bald? Ran is much better than you. She sends us letters when she's away from home. The nuns are a bit bossy, but they treat Ran well. Ran still has her hair, but the Lotus Nunnery is in Wuyang City. It's too far away. We're worried. Good to hear that. How can a beautiful girl have no hair? Oh right, Xie Daoyun is from the Fanchin sect, but she still has her hair, too. I think they get to cultivate with their hair on. I should go to Wuyang City when I have a chance. If my sister doesn't live well, I'll ask for Yu's help and take her back. It's actually a good thing. I heard the villagers said that the Lotus Nunnery is a powerful sect. Enough about that. There's other good news. Your cousin is in love with the daughter of a rich family in Rock City. You must be the next after I settle down, Yen. Huh? Will you get married again, master? You didn't hear anything. Congratulations. Mom, Dad. That's right. They fell in love at first sight and promised to be together forever at second sight. Soon they'll be married. Hey. Yen. Wait. Go play over there, kids. Why were you saying that? Yen must have suffered a lot after that woman abducted him. You shouldn't have pushed him into a marriage right after he returned. Oops, I was just too happy don't mind me. Now the biggest son is booked. Those women outside will go hard on Yen for sure. We can't keep marriage from him forever. We'll talk about this late that Ked had suffered a lot outside. We can't make him feel comportals at home. You guessed it all wrong, master. But your parents really care about you. No wonder they didn't ask anything about my experience outside. They think I'm a ruined and abandoned boy. Fine, it's okay. At least they won't rush me into a marriage. I won't tell them about Chin Shinsi for now. In case they think I'm fine now and want to see the evil woman badly. A few days later Xie Yan's room. Why so noisy? Everyone. My son Xie Van doesn't plan to get married soon. Go back to where you came from. Oh my goodness, so many people want to marry you, master. My family is rich and beautiful. I'd be surprised if people don't act like this. But this is causing inconvenience to our daily life. Looks like my parents have been blocking them away for quite a while, but they failed to stop them anyway. Don't force yourself, Yen, I'll always support whatever you decide. You can be single as long as you want, we only want you to be happy. I know, I'll handle this, you should get some rest. Don't worry, we'll talk this through. Raise your hand if you love me the most. Why do I suddenly want to hit him? Is child Sia that annoying, I suddenly want to slap him. Why did I come here? What was wrong with me? Your son's reputation is already ruined, Mr. Sia. Don't dream about ruining other families' daughters. Bye. So what if your handsomer will never marry you? You'll die alone. What a jinx. Let's go. What did you say? How dare you curse my son? What do you mean? Are you fooling the Sia family? They insisted on marrying Yen. Now they're cursing him. What a bunch of psychos. Don't be angry, my son. They don't deserve your time. You don't deserve Master Xie Yen. Humph. Don't be angry. It's bad for your health. Why are you all here? Are you going out? Zil's father is about to have a birthday party, and she wants to pick presents with me. 
I'll meet her family then. I'll be back at night, I'll bring you some snacks then. A man in love seems silly. What does his future wife look like? I'm so curious. Rock City. Xiao. Xian. You must be waiting for a long time. I just got here. Let's go to Treasure House now. We can have a walk by the lake after buying the presents. I heard the lotuses in the lake are blossoming. The view will suit you well. Ha ha, don't make fun of me, Zil. Treasure House. The former painting sage once used this inkstone, and there are only two inkstones of this type in this world. It's one of our best. Would you like to take a look at it, Miss Xu? This purity and weight. It's a great inkstone. Ha ha, it suits you well, but it's a waste if we give it to my rough father. I'll have it, pack it up. Sure. You're talented and pretty. Only you deserve to have this legendary inkstone. We'll check out other treasures. Don't say that, Xio. I'm blushed. Huh. I just saw an acquaintance. Wait for me here, Xie. I'll be right back. Okay. A great inkstone indeed. How beautiful the patterns are. Our VIP lost the priceless luminous pearl. Sir. May we frisk you? There are many people in this store. Why would you come to me directly? Our customers are usually noble or rich. You seem to be either of them. It's a natural thing for us to ask you. You. Whatever, I didn't do it anyway. Just frisk me. This is awful. I'll tell Shio never come back to this place again. Found it. He hid it inside his bun, but it couldn't fool me. What? It wasn't me. I'm wronged. Stop denying. We have the evidence. Tie him up and send him to the authority. We heard a loud noise outside. Who's making trouble here? Good timing, Constable Wang. We collide a thief and we're ready to send him to you. Oh. In this case, I'll take him away. I'm wronged. Don't move. What happened? My dear, what are you doing? Let go of him. We're arresting a thief, Miss Xu. If you insist on coming closer, don't blame us for being rude. This man stole a supreme luminous pearl, which is worth five hundred teals of gold. We got him red-handed, and I've arrested him. Don't worry. Wait. He's not that kind of man. There must be a misunderstanding. Let him go now. How could this toy boy disgrace Miss Xu like that? A toy boy doesn't deserve your protection, Miss Xu. Forget about it. Xie. Zhang Yu, the son of the captain of Rock City. I just heard something funny, young master. What is it? Why are you making it sound mysterious? That bumpkin who stole your thunder on Peony Poet's party was arrested for theft. They collide him red-handed. Isn't that funny? You always like making storms in teacups. You don't have to do that. The elder son of the Sia family only stole my thunder at the party. You don't need to do that. No bumpkin like him could be so disrespectful to you, young master. I've set him up, and I won't let him go out of prison without making him serve at least half a year. It's no big deal. I'll leave it to you. I heard people in the city called him. The beautiful Jade. Because he's handsome and has a bit of literary talent. You mean? Jade needs carving to shape. Tell the jailer to break his limbs and ruin his face. I only wish to help the Jade become greater. Jew's Mansion. You must help Sia, Dad. He will never steal or need money. Someone must have set him up. Don't worry, I know him. I've sent people to investigate this, and there should be a result soon. My lord, my lady. How is it, Fugue? There is something wrong, my lady. People in the government office told me that the captain's mansion demanded them to make this a serious case. They can't help no matter how many nice things I said or gave to them. They returned our gifts and warned you not to meddle further, or bad things will befall you, master. Why? What? The captain's mansion, why would he care about a random case? Did Sia offend one of them? Yes. That must be the reason. A month ago, Sia trumped Shan Yu from the captain's mansion and won first place at the Peony Poets' party. Other than that, he never met someone else from there. It must be Jean Yu. That just made things trickier to handle. Zhang Yu is the son of the captain of the city. He always does what he wants. Even the prefecture chief would turn a blind eye to him. If that's the case, I can't help Xie Xian. Then what should we do? Xie. Oh right, 
He said that his cousin is now a disciple of the Lotus Nunnery. That's a powerful sect. Perhaps we can find helpers in the Lotus Nunnery. I'll go to the Sia village now. Ah. Shio! You're too tired. Have some rest, and I'll handle the rest. The Lotus Nunnery is too far away. And we don't know his cousin well. The chance is slim. But I shouldn't tell Shio about that. Thank you, Dad. Hold on, Sia. Today is a nice sunny day. Our elder brother didn't come home last night. How could he spend the night at his girlfriend's place before getting married? It's sunny, but why am I cold? How boisterous, we've got a visitor again. Who would it be? My head is pressed. How did you know there's someone here? I'll check it out. Wait for me, master. Yen? Why is it hot again? What now? Yen. Yen. Go take Ran back. Your brother was set up. The Lotus Nunnery is in Woyang City. It's too far away to get helpers now. Don't baffle Yen. It's okay, Yen. We can handle it. Go get some rest. Tell me what happened. Yen. Don't hide it from him. It's good to put another brain into this. Tell him. Fifteen minutes later. We have money, so he didn't need to steal. Zhu's thinking should be right. He was set up because he made the captain's son upset at the party. I wish he did steal something. That way, we can pay them to release your cousin, now that the captain's son is involved. It's not about money anyway. We can only wait for child Zhang to calm down and let Xian go. My poor boy. Calm down? How long do we have to wait for that? With that time, I can go to Luoyang City and take Ran back. We don't know if Ran's position is high enough to help us in the name of her sect. Even if she can, it'll take too much time on the trip, and Xian won't be able to survive that long. I'll handle this. How? Don't make trouble. I appreciate your thought, Yen, but don't do anything reckless. I haven't got a chance to tell you what I'd gained in my adventure. Now I'm a high-level disciple in the Maching sect. Do you know the Maching sect? It's a sect as strong as the Lotus Nunnery. Xian's problem isn't big. I can handle it. Yen Yu. You leaned on a powerful sect? Good job. Yen. Xian will be saved. Can't you find another expression to describe my adventure, mom? Yen. Please save Xian. Yen. I'm begging you. Don't worry. I won't let anything happen to him. I'll go take him back. Do you plan to break into the prison and take him out directly, master? Then you should switch your identity. Use Gehuayu's identity and let the Shinma sect take the blame. The captain and his son cross the line. Let's kill them. Ah. I'm dizzy. You're getting craftier, Chinger. But the main world is much more complicated than small worlds. This relates to the court. We'll get into fatal trouble if we can't handle this well. I can stay out of the trouble. But my family can't. Xie Xian is convicted as a criminal after all. Unless he disappears from the world, the court will hunt him down anyway. He can't escape forever. There are too many talents in the court, and I'm no match for them for now. I see. So we're going to find evidence to prove Xie Xian is innocent? Not that simple. Our enemy is clearly good at playing this trick. He won't leave traces for us to find. Or he just beat the hell out of Xie Xian instead of putting him into prison. Besides, I never want to play by others' rules unless I have to. It'll put me in a passive position, and it's stupid. Then what should we do? I don't have any idea. We'll make it through the back door. Rock City. Here we are. So you meant to pull some strings, I thought it was. The Maching sect is one of the nine major evil sects. It has all kinds of connections. After my trip to Tsufeng City, you thought it was time and gave me a contact book of the Maching connections in the Han Empire. She said the people on the book wouldn't refuse my request when I'm in trouble as long as it doesn't hurt their interests. Zhao Han, the prefecture chief in Rock City, happens to be one of the Maching sect's allies. The book also says he knew Elder Wu Lingxian. I've heard about your stories, charming Jade Child, now that I know you live up to your reputation. Elder Wu talked about you before, she said that you're the future of the Maching sect and have a bright future ahead of you. Zhao Han, Prefecture Chief in Rock City. She flattered me. I'm here to ask for your help, sir. Please do me a favor. The hell Wu Lingxian would do that. Oh? What is it? 
A few days ago, my cousin went into the city to shop with his fiancée and look for birthday presents for his future father-in-law, but someone accused him of stealing, arrested him, and put him in prison. I know my cousin, he's an honest scholar who would never do such a thing. Besides, the CF family is far from poor, so his fiancée looked into it and found out something suspicious. Fifteen minutes later. I see. I've worked with Captain Zhang for years, so I know him. Even if his son is involved, he probably doesn't know anything about it. Enjoy your tea, child Xie. I'll send someone to the captain's mansion and ask about what happened. We'll know the answer soon. Thank you, sir. Isn't the prefecture chief the highest executive officer here? Why does he need to ask the captain's opinion? Something isn't right. Zhang Yu is spoiled, but his father is a good man. Huh. Captain Zhang was once a hero who had won many exploits for the court, but he failed to reach the pre-celestial stage. The court gave him Sky Seal Mantra as a reward, and it made him a fake pre-celestial master. He's not a real pre-celestial martial artist, but he's still much stronger than ordinary level 9 post-celestial martial artists. But because of Sky Seal Mantra, he'll never reach the pre-celestial stage. A fake pre-celestial master is good for Rock City anyway. His presence simply comforts the people, which is much better than a level 9 post-celestial martial artist like me. Ha <laughs> ha. I see. Comfort the people? More like bully them. No wonder the captain can be so arrogant. The prefecture chief can't discipline him because his cultivation stage is lower. But the prefecture chief looks leisurely and not afraid of the captain. They must be helping and guarding against each other at the same time. It shouldn't be hard for me to get Xie Xian out in that case. The captain's mansion. You were too reckless. You arrested Xie Zhan before finding out if he had backers. Now they're on to us. Zhang Zhijing, the captain of Rock City. Who'd know that Bumpkin's missing brother would be from the Maching sect and return at this hour? And I didn't want to do it, but he messed with me first. I've crippled him already. Can we muddle through at the prefecture chief's place? We'll play nice. Apologize, and give out the people who gave you the idea and crippled Xie Xian. The Maoqing sect is an evil sect. What if Xie Yan insists on getting even with me? So what? I pay the prefecture chief respect by taking a step back. Zhao Han won't force me to punish you for a disciple from the Maoqing sect. His relationship with the Maoqing sect isn't that close. As for that damn charming jade child, he's just a junior in the martial world. Perhaps he'll be more threatening if he's facing another sect, but we're people of the court. Unless the Maoqing sect plans to rebel, he'll be no threat. I see, I know what to do. Zhao Han is at the ninth level of the post-celestial stage, but unlike me, he may become a pre-celestial master someday. I can only hold him back for a while, so stop making trouble for me. I don't want Zhao Han to take it all out on us later. I know, that's why I never step over his bottom line, rest assured, father. Good. Let's meet Zhao Han and that Xie Yen then. Reception Hall of Prefecture Chief's Mansion I'm sorry for what happened, Mr. Zhao, I didn't educate my son well enough. This must be charming Jade Child, now that I see you, I know you do live up to your reputation. You flattered me, Mr. Zhang. Frankly, my son didn't know what happened to your cousin. Some flunkies did it to fawn my son. It's all their idea. In fact, my son is also a victim. I've brought you the related personnel. You can dispose of them at will. I see. We can talk about this later. Can you release my cousin first? I don't buy that at all. Bring child Xie Xian and all the related personnel here. This is a misunderstanding, but it did happen because of me. I'm sorry. Charming Jade Child, please forgive me. These are the servant who deceived me and the constables involved. What happened to Mr. Xia and Mr. Zhang? The evil servant bribed the prison guards behind my back and hurt Mr. Xia. I'm really sorry. If you want to vent your anger, I'll give you the all rights transfer agreements of him and his whole family. The servant has done a great job on my cousin, huh? Butler Zhang has worked diligently for my family for over a decade, charming jade child. But my dad hands him over to you to comfort you. It was ungrateful of you to be surly and sarcastic. Stop that, John Yu. Please forgive him. John has looked after him since he was little. But that doesn't justify what he did. 
you can decide Bang's fate. As for your cousin, I will pay for his future medical expenses and try my best to treat him. Are you satisfied with the arrangements, charming jade child? Satisfied? What do you think? Demonic art of Ogdo at tribulations, tribulation of beast. No, no. It hurts. It hurts so much. Look at what my cousin looks like. Do you really think we can reconcile, Mr. John? What kind of evil art is this? It turned people into such beasts. He does live up to his reputation. I knew it. People from evil sex are always unreasonable. Send some servants to take my cousin to the backyard, Mr. Zhao. Take child Xie Xian to a nice room and fetch the best doctors in the city. I understand what you feel right now, child Xie, but the culprit did deceive Zhang Yu. Now since you've punished them, it's time to call it a day. My son failed to restrain his men well. I promise I will teach and discipline him. Yes, that's right. Zhao Han doesn't seem to want to get involved, if this brat dares to go against me again. Failed to restrain his men well? Do I look stupid? Without his acquiescence, how could a servant dare to collude with the constables and hurt my cousin? I don't buy it. Any normal man can see you're sacrificing the servant to keep your son out of this, Mr. Zhang. But since Mr. Zhao told me to call it a day, I'll do it for his sake. Mr. Zhao wants to mediate between us? Then don't blame me for using abomination. Demonic art of Ado at tribulations, abomination. Xie Yen, I've had enough of you. Sacrificing the servant, so what if it's true? What's wrong with you, my son? Ha! I want to respect your opinion, Mr. Zhao, but it seems they don't agree. Mr. Zhang, charming jade child is the victim here. That was only his speculation, and he agreed not to pursue this. Why did your son show such an imperious attitude? It's not like him. Perhaps your impressive skill frightened him. Please forgive him. What's wrong with you? Apologize to charming jade child. Why? I only want to kill him now. How domineering. Child Zhang, can I tell the truth? Is that how the captain's mansion treats people who know the truth? But I'm afraid the strength gap between our cultivation base is too wide for you to kill me. I'll kill you, Xie Yen. Zhan Yu? Guardian Operbound Zen Rebound. Stop. Xie Yen Yu, Yu? How do you discipline your son, Zhang Jijing? Zhang Yu just attacked Xie Yen in the prefecture chief's mansion. It's not hard to know how domineering he would be normally. Looks like I was too tolerant with you. My son. Xie Yen. How dare you hurt my son? What? No. Child Zhang attacked me first. I was just fighting back. If you must blame someone, blame your son for being too weak to withstand my strike. Good, Xie Yen. I didn't expect you to be so bold and vengeful. I'll get even with you. I'm in charge of the Xie village. Your family would better behave yourselves from now on, or I'll have plenty of legal ways to teach you a lesson. You crossed the line, Zhang Zhijing. How could you threaten him with the law? I've paid you enough respect. Mr. Zhao, since Xie Yen refuses to accept my goodwill while I was being nice. I won't have mercy on him. You'd better stay out of this to keep our friendship. Enough. This is over. Ha! I respect you by not killing that bastard right now. As for the rest of this, you'd better stay away. Zhang Zhijin keeps sending me origin points of hate. He will revenge on the Xie village for sure if he can't do anything to me. I wonder if I can kill a fake pre-celestial martial artist? Even if I can, it's too costly. Killing an official will bring me much trouble. Even if I kill him in someone else's disguise, the court will suspect me when they know it. To avoid future trouble, I can only find an excuse to kill him. That old bastard is furious. But he restrained the urge to kill me anyway. Well, he asked for this. How domineering, Mr. Zhang. Mr. Zhao only advised you in a friendly way. But you retorted him. I don't see any respect. Abomination. You're asking for this, you bastard. You want to hit him. Don't you take my words seriously at all, Zhang Zhijing? Shut up, Zhao Han. What did you say? Don't you dare say that again. Go to hell, you bastard. How dare you, Zhang Zhijing? Get lost. No one can save you today. You're dead meat. Ninth moves of Sky Seal, Tide Strike. Guardian of Rebound Zen.
Your defensive art is tough to handle, but it's okay. I can tear your shell apart. He's mad, charming Jade Child. We can't defeat a fake pre-celestial martial artist. Let's retreat now. Don't worry. I'll report this to the court after today. I'll prosecute him for assaulting a supervisor and attempts of rebellion. Heal yourself, Mr. Zhao. Leave him to me. As a good citizen, it's my duty to take down criminals. Ninth moves of Sky Seal. Do you think I can't break your shell, little bastard? She gathering from all directions. What are you doing? How slow you are. Child Sia, no. You can't deal with this skill by force. It's useless. All your strikes will become my power to blast your shell. This skill of Sky Seal Mantra can absorb all the attacking power. Even if it doesn't absorb external power, the shock wave it'll release later will be ten times powerful than usual. Your defensive art can't withstand it. Since I can't stop him from releasing his ultimate skill, I'll keep striking. Finger of flowery swords bend at will. The harder you hit me right now, the more miserable your death will be later. You can't defeat him. Child Sia. Let's retreat before he finishes this move. We'll have plenty of time dealing with him later. I can't defeat him? Don't underestimate me, Mr. Zhao. I never flinch. The boom may be a bit shocking later. You'd better evacuate people from the prefecture chief's mansion and tell servants to stay away from this room. I don't want to hurt the innocent. All right, take my cousin with you, too. I may not be able to control the destruction scale. I'm on it. Run and don't force yourself to confront that madman if things don't go your way. I'll call the soldiers to kill him after I'm out of here. There's no perfect martial art. Finger of flowery swords, withering strike. One, two, three, four, five, six. She gathering from all directions, huh? Finger of flowery swords, withering strike times two. Absorb now. I'll make you full enough to blast then. No. No. That didn't kill you, you're lucky. Powerful indeed. It looks like he can keep fighting. I couldn't defeat him if I hadn't got the cheats. What did you do to me, Xia Yan? Oh. Seems you're sober now. Abomination went off? I didn't do anything. You went mad all of a sudden. Anyway, you're done. Finger of flowery swords bend at will. You assaulted your supervisor, the prefecture chief. Your son bullied the civilians. Both of you bullied the weak and did harm to Rock City. All these crimes are enough to make you spend the rest of your life in prison. Demonic art of Agdoa tribulations. Tribulation of hungry chosens. Xie Yan Yu. How dare you, you evil being. Damn it. Ugh. I was wrong, charming jade child. Please spare me. Looks like the blast drained him. He has no internal power to deal with the tribulation of hungry ghosts. Spare you? Would you spare me if our situations are reversed? Have you thought about this when you destroyed others' life at will? I can't kill him. It'd be more convenient for me to kill him. But I don't know what the prefecture chief would think of me if I do. I can't take the blame. Besides, even if I spare you now, Mr. Zhao and the court won't. Mr. Zhao may not be as innocent as I saw earlier. Anyway, Zhang Jijing is more useful for me when he's alive. But there are different ways of living. No. No. Please don't. I've destroyed your cultivation base. You can't hurt anyone from now on. I can make sure he won't rise again in this case. Now let's see if the prefecture chief will kick me down the ladder. How's it going, child Xia? Mr. Zhao, as you can see, I've taken care of him. The captain's limbs are crippled, and his internal power pool is destroyed. He's lost the ability to move. You defeated Zhang Jijing alone, child Xia. The future of the marching sect, charming jade child indeed. Thanks to you, no calamity was caused. I'm flattered, sir. Good. Looks like he's not an ungrateful man. He was really tough to handle. Tough. My palm still hurts. You help the court and Rock City eliminate a threat. I'll report this to the court and get you rewards. No need for that. It's my duty to help the court. I'll be blushed if you make it so formal. You. Ha. 
I even wanted to post honor rolls to tell the world about your heroic deed. But since you prefer to keep a low profile, I'll drop it. However, I'll say nice things about you to my colleagues. Thanks, Mr. Dao. I heard John Jijing loves gold and has a secret vault in his mansion. Don't miss that during the confiscation. Don't worry. I'll search every inch of his house. How dare you? We dug out a corpse in the ruins ahead. After the autopsy, we confirmed it was John Yu from the captain's mansion. Oh. Looks like John Jijing didn't protect his son during our fight. John Yu committed lots of crimes when his father had power. He deserves it. No need to care about him. Mr. Zhao, the criminal passed out. It seems like his blood rushed into his brain and caused a stroke. A stroke won't free him from the punishment. Take him away. He'll suffer the criminal penalty as long as he is still alive. No wonder he'd assault you and attempt to rebel. He's so irritable. All right, Mr. Zhao. I've yearned for the court's martial arts for quite a while. May I have the luck to learn some? The court's martial arts are very different from sect arts. But the martial arts are all exclusive. Unless you become an official in the court, you can't learn them. Is that so? Then what kind of official can I be? Could you recommend me? Are you serious? Ahem. You may not know the hidden rules because you're new in the martial world, child Sia. A sect disciple can't become an official, or you'll be betraying your sect. I told you that because I think of you as my ally. The court doesn't want core disciples from sects to join them either. They don't want disciples from the major sect to dominate over time. That will make things inconvenient for the court. You know what I'm saying. I see. Sorry for my abruptness. I only said that on the spur of the moment. I'm okay with the result. Then what about my cousin? He's talented and handsome. What a great subordinate. Think about it. I've heard of Xie Xian's reputation indeed. But his injury, fine. I can make him a private advisor in the prefecture chief's mansion as long as he can recover. Great. I heard John Jijing illegally embezzled many fine farmland and houses. I assume you'd like to fill them into your, I mean, confiscate them. Could you sell some to me? You're crossing the line, child Sia. I already promised you to give your cousin a job. That's unexpected. I openly recommended my cousin. Do you think I'm asking for something in return for my contribution? It'll be your favor to me if my cousin only has a pretty face, but he's a real talent. Ah, uh, my hand hurts. It got hurt during my fight with Zhang Zhijing. Child Xiaoyu. Fine, we have this conversation because you defeated Zhang Zhijing. And he did have 100 acres of fine farmland in a suburb of Rock City. I'll sell some to you in the name of the government. How about 100 copper coins for each acre? Thank you, Mr. Zhao. It's getting late. I should take my cousin. Wait. Huh. Er child Sia, how's Elder Wu? Has she ever talked about me? Huh. Is there something between you two? Don't say it like that. Show her some respect. I simply admire Elder Wu. Humph. I admire your taste, Mr. Zhao. You know nothing. Wu Lingxian was the most beautiful woman among the five beauties of her generation. Even Qin Shuani from the Fanqin sect and Di Qingqing, the Grand Princess of the Han Empire, couldn't compete with her. But even Heaven was jealous of her reality, which was a shackle for her. She turned to demonic mantra, but that didn't stop her from making a name for herself. For her admirers, she will always be like the bright moon in the sky. Seriously? People who cultivate demonic mantra will become uglier and uglier, judging by her current appearance. She could be very pretty before. But did you admirers know that she fell for an inconspicuous man named Yi Gutsuin? Ahem. I talk too much. Since you're in a hurry to go home, and your cousin can't move right now, I'll send a carriage to take you home if you don't mind. Xie Xian is severely injured. Luckily, you can heal him. His face is covered with blood. The prefecture chief knew I could heal him, or else he wouldn't use me to suppress Zhang Jijing. Hey! Get up, sleepyhead! But he didn't expect I'd cripple Zhang Jijing. The prefecture chief must be laughing out loud right now. He tricked you into working for him for free. How cunning. Not for free. We just didn't say the rewards out loud. That's why the prefecture chief agreed to give me rewards so easily. Even so, I'm upset with the way he treated you. 
I'll fool him when I become stronger. The prefecture chief might have reached the pre-celestial stage when you're stronger. Save it, please. Humph, Yen? Oh, you woke up. Is this my terminal lucidity? I see Yen, but I miss my lovely Xiu more. Why must I see a man before I die? I want Xiu. Get up. Do you know how much space you take up? I can't even stretch my legs. Yen? Are you real? I'm still alive? Huh. What? I'll leave you here since you're okay now. Go home yourself. The others will tell you what happened. Did you save me, Yen? Why are you leaving? How about my wedding? Aren't you coming? Xie Xian is saved. I'm going to Luoyang City to visit Ran. Don't miss me. I'm not, but I left my gift on the carriage. You should go home now. Gift? A stack of papers. An induction agreement and a title deed? All right. Tell my father to send a letter to Ran. Tell her I'm coming and don't leave Luoyang City these days. What are you doing? You'll die, Yen. Where's the carter? Are we heading to Wuyang City, Master? I've spent too much time here. I returned to the Xia village to fulfill the original Xia Yan's wish, and visiting Xia Ran should be the last step. I also heard there are many beautiful women in Wuyang City. Perhaps I can find a chance to upgrade finger of flowery swords there. Luoyang City. A major Buddhistic city indeed. I can see chanting disciples everywhere. I was right to let Chinga go back to me. Otherwise, her soul might be dispersed by some monks. Eagles fly and send letters faster than I do. Rand should have known my arrival a few days ago. But I must find the Lotus Nunnery first. Lotus Nunnery is the third biggest Buddhistic sect in the Han Empire. It should not be hard to find. Where is it? Do you want to go to the Lotus Nunnery, sir? Yes. Do you know where it is? Miss? Today is the Buddha's blessing day. All the women in the city will go to the Lotus Nunnery and free captive fishes. I can take you there if you need. I see. Thank you, Mrs. You're welcome. Lotus Nunnery. I've reviewed the memories about Ran. Besides the typical pretty appearance that the Sia family has, her personality is impressive. Sia Ran was born expressionless. She always talked like a great artist of sarcasm. She often made the original Sia Yen speechless. What a girl. Why would the Lotus Nunnery think she's suitable? Wouldn't such a nun irritate the Buddha? The free pond is ahead. Would you like to go with me? No. I've found the person I want to see. We'll part here, Mrs. Huh. Ah, sorry. Look who's here, Ran. Ha. Huh. I knew my best-looking brother was coming when I heard so many girls whispering, seeing your face and open-to-temptation personality. I've got something to tell you. Cut that thing off, Yen, that way, you may live happily ever after. She doesn't mean it. It's not a coincidence that I just met her right after coming here. I guess she'd been waiting for me on the most conspicuous spot all day. Sia Ran is quite different from other members of the Sia family. Nope, she is totally different from other normal human beings. Other people tend to hide their affection because they are shy. When Miss Sia likes someone, she abuses him physically. Yen! Did you hear me? Are you getting too old to catch my words? Ran. We haven't seen each other for a long time. Can't you be nice to your brother? Fancy words make you arrogant, Yen. Honest opinions are good for you. What kind of honest opinion is this? If I tell Dad, he would probably break your leg. Could you stop messing with my hair, Yen? Only heaven knows how many girls' hair you have touched before. This is gross. Really? But I'm simply using your hair to wipe my hand. What a stubborn girl. She enjoys it when I mess with her hair. Yen. They've been talking about the Haiki. Charming Jade Child. Is that you? It is me. What? Are you surprised? Sia Ran is a disciple of the Lotus Nunnery. She will get to know it sooner or later. There is no need to hide it from her. Oh. Oh? Is this all I got? Can't you act more impressive? My master wants to see you. Your master? Master. Ran, did you bring back a guest? Nun Simiai, Sia Ran's master. This is my elder brother, Sia Yen. What the heck? Why did she decide to use her energy to weigh on me? So you're charming Jade Child? I've heard a lot about you. When we first knew your name, Charming Jade Child, 
Ran thought you were a different person with the same name. But you turn out to be her brother. What a pleasant surprise. You don't look like you are surprised at all. Does non Simei tend to accept disciples who only have the emotional range of a potato? Our sect usually doesn't want to get involved with demonic sections. Our cultivation methods are different after all. We'd like to stay away from the Maching sect. You wouldn't be allowed to enter the Lotus Nunnery if you were not Rant's brother, Charming Jade Child. I see, you has never mentioned this before. However, the disciples of the Lotus Nunnery tend to avoid us when we are in the same room. It's unnecessary to bring it up anyway. No wonder she suddenly looks so upset. Our cultivation method requires a pure heart and an unworldly mindset. Unstable disciples are not allowed to experience the outside world in case they would be confused during their journeys and lose their faith. The Maching sect, however, has a quite different way. You guys pursue worldly feelings and emotions. You should stop visiting Rand so her unworldly mind won't be disturbed. This is for your sister's good, Mr. Sia. What do you mean, Nun Simei? I may be a disciple of the Maching sect. But Ran is my sister. How can you stop us from seeing each other? Besides, other masters recruit their disciples based on mutual consent. You took Ran away from us by force. Do you have any idea how much my parents miss her? I know Ran is talented, but she is also a precious daughter of the Sia family. You've already tainted her mind by doing this to her. If entering your sect means cutting off from one's bloodline, I'd rather let her give up her cultivation here. You are so eloquent, Mr. Sia. I admire your courage. I have faith in Rand's judgment. I shall not keep her with me further. Rand, take your brother to visit all the beautiful temples in Wuyang City. Yes, master. That's it. Come on. Rand. You must have heard your master. Show me around Wuyang City. Yen, it's still too early for brothels to open. Hey. Look me in the eyes. Do I look like I want to go to the brothels? Are you treating your brother as a depraved womanizer? Ha. Charming Jade Child is from the Maching sect. Chin Shinsi, the main disciple of the sect, is just like the demon girl that you mentioned who kidnapped your brother. That Charming Jade Child must be your brother if I'm not wrong. You've known where your brother is right now. Stop bothering yourself with the question anymore. Focus on your cultivation since today, Sierran. We have a different cultivation method with the Maching sect. We shouldn't get too close to a demonic sect like it. You can try to cut off from your family this time. Maybe you will crack the ultimate secret of Buddhism this time and become an official member of Buddhism in the end. I have a question. What is it? I have a happy family with loving parents and my brother. I spent a decade in my life with them. But I just entered the sect for three months. Is the time we spent together nothing when it is compared with my cultivation? Buddha said there was karma and we should pay for what we did. I haven't even paid back my parents and brother's love. If I leave everything behind and focus on Buddhism now, will the guilt caused by the light decision become my demon and impede my cultivation? And isn't it too cruel? You still don't understand. I never told you to eliminate your feelings and love for your family. The end of karma is a mutual practice. You don't understand it currently, so I can't let you out. When your mindset becomes more stable and less chaotic, you will have a different opinion. You will be willing to cut off from everything yourself at that time. Stop thinking about your master's bullshit. We are brother and sister. How can we stop seeing each other? Your master is mad. Yen, you've changed. You used to be such a coward but now you became cocky and annoying. Mind your words to your elder brother, young lady. Well, people will change. Besides, I've been traveling around lately. I've seen a lot of things. Of course my horizon was widened. Yen. Humph. Leave the Maching sect. What? The Lotus Nunnery and the Maching sect are rivals. Why can't you become a traitor for me? Why don't you become a traitor for me? At least you don't need to shave your hair in the Maching sect. Mom and Dad will be thrilled. The Lotus Nunnery is a peaceful place. My fellow disciples are friendly to each other. The Maching sect feeds on dramas. Everyone knows the Maching sect fights a lot. You guys fought the Bliss Temple at least twice as far as I know. You can fool mom and dad now because they know nothing about the martial world yet. But if they get to know one day, they will be so pissed off. Shit. I hate to admit it but Ran is telling the truth. 
How should I explain to her that her brother is actually a good fighter, and he wins in most fights? That marching sect which who kidnapped you, her name is Chin Shinsi, right? She doesn't deserve you. I can't defeat her now, or I would have challenged her and got you back already. Ran. She is being jealous. She would be cuter if she didn't spit harsh words constantly. System fragment detected. Please co collect it as soon as possible to upgrade the system and activate the next function. Yen? Ran, where are we? You mean this place? It is written on the board. This is one of the three greatest Buddhist temples in the Han Empire, Soul Temple. There is a system fragment here, and they're hidden in the Soul Temple? Today is Buddha's blessing day. All the temples in Luoyang City are wide open. Even a person like you is welcome. A person like me? What are you trying to say? Forget about it. Just show me around. Mahavara Hall is a place for morning and night practices. They put Buddha's sitting statue in here. This is Arhat Hall. There are 500 Arhat statues in this hall. The Seoul Temple is famous for them. Other small Buddhist sects always came here to copy these statues. Spirit Mountain Buddha Statue They said the founder of the Seoul Temple moved the statue all the way from Spirit Mountain. This is almost a landmark Vava of Luoyang City. Next. Ran. I know there may be no scenery around such a statue, but what about those halls? You took me to the doorsteps of those halls and just left. At least let me get in and take a look. I surely don't care about this place, but can she be less absent-minded being a guide? Yen, you are too worldly and vulgar. Buddha won't be happy when he sees your face. Ran is so cute. But why does she have to talk? Forget about it. I shouldn't have relied on you. I will just randomly stroll in this place myself. Just don't let me get lost. Heading straight for the system fragment is too suspicious. I wanted to search for it while visiting the temple. But Siaran just ruined my plan. I should just head for it. Where are you going, Yen? Just a reminder, Buddhas in the soul temple won't fulfill any lustful wishes. Can you just shut up? According to the system, the fragment is here. Ran, where are we right now? Treasure Hall. All the Buddhist treasures of the Soul Temple are hidden in this place. This place is guarded by two pre-celestial masters of the temple. Anyone who dares to break in and steal the treasures will be smashed like potatoes. How fierce! I thought monks wouldn't kill. But those people were trying to steal their treasures. Holy crap! Luckily I didn't plan a rob and run. I will just take a look outside. I bet they won't kill me this way. No one cares about you if you stay outside. It feels like the system fragment is in there. What is in that jade box? It seems to be mysterious. It's the relic left by the founder of the soul temple. It can help you contact the founder's spirit so you can discuss Buddhist methods with him. However, it won't work for people who don't have any faith in Buddhism. I see. I have never expected a person like you to be interested in this. Siaran, can you speak nicely to your brother? You are interested in Buddhist treasure, Yen. That just proved that you are not a simple worldling. This is fate, Yen. Why don't you leave the demonic sect and join Buddhism? My master is pretty close to the leader of the soul temple. Maybe they will let you become a worldly disciple. They will hold a Buddhist debating and use the relic to test the best disciples two days later. If you join them now, you will also be a part of it. Ran, should I thank you for not forcing me to become a monk? You are welcome. You take that back, by the way. What is the Buddhist debating exactly? Tell me about it. Buddha's blessing day is Buddha's birthday. They free captured animals on the first day, hold a Buddhist lecture on the second day, and start a Buddhist debating on the third day. Freeing animals is mainly for believers. You've been horsing around lately. You must have got enough information about this. As for Buddhist debating and Buddhist lecture, these are competitions among all the Buddhist sects. All the monks across the country will show up at the Seoul Temple tomorrow, discussing the truth of Buddhism. A monk use technique, chanting scriptures, spirit damage, 15. The third day is most vital. The Saul Temple, the Fanshin sect, and the Lotus Nunnery will start the annual trial. The winner can use the relic for seven-day cultivation. All the monks come for the relic. Even they can't win in the trial. They can at least levitate their mind during the event. Arhat disciples use technique, muscle displaying, but nothing happened. However, the dark Buddhist sect, 
Wushan's sect also decided to be a part of this. Master and other leaders tried so hard to make them behave, and they will only show up during the Buddhist debating. So Buddhist debating became a battle between good sects and evil sections. They allowed the sect's presence, and now they even let them come every year. If it was the Maching sex event, the troublemaker would probably have been beaten up and kicked out. These monks are too kind. I'm still too weak to get the treasure, Yin. Just give me two years, I swear that I will get the relic for you. Ran? Well, if you give it to me, I probably won't give it back anymore. My little sister is so cute. They said relics can make you less horny. I won't need to worry about your reputation if you can have it. I wonder if Master knows any boner prohibiting techniques. The world will be safer that way. Ran, can you at least learn some skill of talking? I really wish you wouldn't be beaten up one day. Ran is so fierce. I wonder why she hasn't been kicked out of her sect yet. Forget about it. I should let Ching'er out and take a breath. Master Xia Yen, Ching'er, are you okay? I'm okay. The buzzing sound made me dizzy. I was so tired and sleepy. Those monks were chanting scriptures. It must have weighed on you heavily. Just rest for a while before returning to my body. Why did you pull out the monk mask? There is something I need hiding in the soul temple. I need to investigate this place tomorrow or the day after that. I need to pretend to be a monk. It's too much trouble, master. I can get it for you. Cool. I won't let you go even if you insist. What if you get hurt? It's okay. Just stay put and take a rest. Cool. I'm so useless. Well, guess it's time to study that monk recorded in Instructions of Disguise. Buddha's Blessing Day Buddhist Lecture. Elder Sahway, long time no see. Nun Simia, it's been a while. I heard you just got an extremely talented disciple. She is a bit talented. Her name is Sieran, and she is not officially a nun right now. She can never hold a candle to your disciple Daoyun, though. I heard that she had reached the pre-celestial stage despite her young age. We are flattered. Everyone knows that our sex methods are special. Daoyun owes her success to the method. It's quite late now. Let's go to the soul temple first. Indeed. Ran, why are you so absent-minded right now? Nothing, I just remember that I didn't tell my brother before I came here with you, master. I don't want him to be worried. Charming Jade Child is a smart man. He won't make a scene in Luoyang City. Focus on the lecture. Yes, master. If he does care about you, he should act low-key. I know you are a good girl, but I can't figure out that charming jade child. You should stay away from him for your safety. Charming jade child is a bit carefree. He may become demonic now and then because of his demonic origin, but he is not bad on the inside. You shouldn't worry, nun Simei. I met him before and I know him a little. You met my elder brother before? You are his little sister? This is quite surprising. Could you tell me more about him? Sure, Charming Jade Child is a humorous guy, Senior G from the Taishian sect and I once. I thought you don't want to have anything to do with those worldly people from the demonic sect. Why do you allow your disciple to discuss that Xie Yen from the Maching sect? It's okay. She will stand up against me if I prohibit everything. If Xie Rant's belief is unwavering, she will see through everything herself sooner or later. Half an hour later. Rujing Glaze Ball is as shining as the sun and moon, above the golden statue. The wisdom of Buddha has befallen. Have you seen the golden image of Buddha? The lecture is about to begin. The Buddha's statue is dignified and majestic. Even the wind came to play with banners in a manner of showing respect. This is good. This is not right. Banners are not moving, either is the wind. Your heart has been disturbed by the worldly seeing, master. Who is this monk? He comes so late yet he acts so arrogantly. Master, don't be obsessed with appearance. 